Hello and welcome back. So now that we've deployed the virtual network that is going to host our uh, Windows Virtual Desktop implementation, what we need to do is ensure this network can talk to the network that's hosting our domain controllers for our Azure AD domain service. Now to ensure that communication, we're going to peer the two networks. Once we have the networks peered, what we're also going to do is set the custom DNS for this virtual network so that it points to the domain controllers that were deployed because if we don't do that, when we deploy the actual VMs as part of our WVD deployment, they're not going to be able to resolve the name of our Active Directory. So what we're going to do here is peer the networks and then configure the custom DNS. Now to peer this virtual network with the Azure AD uh, domain services VNet, we simply go into peerings here under settings. We can see we have no existing peerings. So we'll go ahead and begin the process. And this is a pretty straightforward process. Now, before we get started, this icon up here tells us that when we peer our networks, we have to create two peering links. Uh, basically, we have to connect from this source to the destination, and then we need to create a link from the destination back to the source. We could do both of them right here in this one step. So I'll show you how to do that now. Now this peering link name is the name of our link. What I'm going to do is call this WVD-AD. And essentially what that means is this is the link from the WVD uh, network to the AD network. We can leave the options here default. And then this is the remote virtual network. This is the link coming back. So I'll call this AD-WVD. And then we can see we have our Burke Spikes LLC subscription. And then I need to select the remote peer. And that remote peer is the AADDS VNet. We can leave the rest of these selections at their defaults and go ahead and click add. And what this will do is uh, attach this network to the Azure AD network so they can communicate. And we can see here the peering status shows connected. So now that we have the networks peered, what we want to do is configure the DNS for this uh, WVD VNet so the machines we deploy to it can resolve the name of our directory. Now, just to confirm the IP addresses we need to use, what we can do is go home and go on to the burksbikes.com AD domain services. And if we look at properties here, we can see we have 192.168.1.4 and 192.168.1.5. So let's go back and we'll go on to our VNet WVD. And if we go into DNS servers here, we can see that they're currently set as the default Azure provided. We need to change that to custom and then add the two we just noted. And we'll save it. Now at this point, since we have these VNets peered and we have custom DNS configured, when we begin the deployment of our Windows Virtual Desktop implementation, those VMs that we deploy will be able to resolve our uh, directory. So with that, let's call it a wrap and I'll see you in the next lesson.